I don't think brands really have the right to create art on purpose. I think they have the right to engage artists and creators and people who uh, have an authentic relationship to the ideas and concepts that the brand are trying to tackle. about the music videos that I find really compelling is, is, is that for a music video you need to have all these people um, thinking about the art and the spirit of the idea and they need to be aligned on, on the spirit of what's trying to be achieved and I think with projects like this um, because there are always so many problems with them it, it inherently you know when you're trying to do something that's never been done before you you like you start up against impossible things and in order to get through those impossible things um, in, in our experience, I think you need to all be together uh, mentally from the start. So that's the client, the agency, whoever's involved, everyone um, needs, needs to really feel it. Um, and I think that, that Project 84, it reminds me that Project 84 is really, um, I imagine it started as a brief and, and, and as a, you know, this is a brief, we want to, what are we going to do? And it, it ended as an artwork. So if you look, up, look it up on Google, it's primarily an artwork. So it says on Wikipedia, it's an artwork. So it's something that started off um, traditionally, but would have gone through this whole process where everyone would have had to be so involved in the same way music videos have, have that kind of struggle and has ended up in as a legacy artwork and, and something that really stuck in people's minds and was iconic and inspiring, um, I think, for, for years to come. So on that word artwork, someone used the term communication art. That, that sounds trendy and everything, but what do you mean by that? Like, does a brand have a right to create art? Um, I, I don't think brands really have the right to create art on purpose. I think they have the right to engage artists and creators and people who uh, have an authentic relationship to the ideas and concepts that the brand are trying to tackle. And, and when art is made, it, it's, it's okay. When it's, when it's organic, audiences can see when it's been organic and authentic, um, like, like in that Project 84. And I don't think brands should shy away from trying to, trying to do that. I think that's where we're going. I think if, if art and, and um, advertising were two you know, circles in a Venn diagram, that fusion where that middle bit is becoming more and more blurred and larger, I think that is what's happening. And, and you can see that by, by the work that's being made right now and um, will continue to be made, I think, more.